Hey guys, Mike G here, and welcome back to What If Legendary Chose. In this one, we are going to talk about... Gabra. Yes, Gabra. Um, this one was not chosen. In fact, I don't think the last video had any requests, except um, I did have requests from older videos back that I am going to do. One of them will be Mega Gears, so that'll be right after this one. So that'll be for seven hours and one, but I just want to get this one out of the way. Just in case if somebody ever asks my thoughts. And, you know, I also did some thinking. I said, you know what? After this destroyer discussion, I've been talking about monsters that would just be wonderful to see and how the great reaction would be. And then I thought and then I thought to myself, what would it be like if we had such a riot of just fans? knowing the fact that Gabber was chosen in the legendary universe of Godzilla, and especially Legendary's universe where it's really serious. And how could you make Gabber work? For one, guys, let me just say this now. I don't think there is one guy, even in the Legendary universe, I don't think there's one guy who could look at this monster and who would say, you know, he could work, you know, just give him a chance. I just don't see it. I, I, <laughs> I really don't see it. I really, 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 really don't. And in fact, you don't need to worry. But let's just say that they did, in fact, choose him, okay? Now, this is not legitimate, by the way, so don't take it too seriously. But let's just say that it did happen. What would your reaction be? I would love to know how you guys would react if Gabra was chosen into this universe of Godzilla, which we are trying to bring back kaijus and likeness for general people to like monsters again. And which, back in the day, in the 50s, and the 40s, and the 30s, monsters were the superheroes at the time. Then superheroes came along in the DC universe, and they took over. And even in the 90s, I gotta say, the 90s, Godzilla was was less popular. In the 60s and the 50s, mo monsters were the thing in the 70s, too, even though it was cheesy. Um, superheroes really weren't the thing back then until super Superman came around and, you know, people really started getting into superheroes. So, I don't think Legendary is dumb enough to even go with this route, with this monster. Um, in fact, you would basically make a new one if you had a choice of choosing a Toho monster because they wouldn't choose a Toho monster if this was the only choice that they had to make if Toho was just stupid enough to say, hey, uh, all we have is Gabra. You need to either take him or you go home. I think Legendary would go home and they would say, you know what, guys, we're just going to make a, make a monster because there's no way that we're choosing this guy. It's way too risky. Th there's just no way that nobody would come to see this. Now, general people would come, but the fans, and there's a big majority of the fans, even though it is smaller than the general people, they also depend on the fans to come for the money. And yes, I know, that's what businesses are about. It's about the money. They wanted to. They want to do it for everyone, and and everyone is the majority of general people, but also the fans. Also, if general people, you know, if if there were if there are general people out there that just love movies in general, just any kind of freaking movie, and they like to do the research on it, and if they're a YouTuber that just does every majority of every movie, and they discuss about it and bring news, and they do the research about who Gabber is because he was chosen. You're definitely going to get a bad response from the general people from there. And then that's when um, Legendary is going to say, we just made a big mistake. So that would um, be pretty bad for not just Godzilla, but for the Legendary universe and for monsters in general. But l let me just say this right off the bat. You know, we are talking about Legendary, okay? We are talking about Legendary and, you know, they've had their good movies and bad movies, and I, I, you guys probably like this movie a lot, but I don't care for Wrath of the Titans. I didn't like it. There's actually a lot of legendary movies I don't care for, but then there's a lot of them 
that I do like. Legendary is a very good company, and they're actually probably the most successful movie company right now because they're with Marvel and they're with all these other things, and they're just such a high company for movies here in America and all over the world. Very successful company, and they release the majority of movies in theaters, and we know that when you're talking about Legendary, when you're talking about the directors in Legendary, you're talking some talented people. And Gareth Edwards was is a very talented director because and also very smart and very clever. I got to say he's the only one that saw the opportunity to take something that nobody else would take. And he took that something that nobody really took seriously. Okay? Godzilla is very hard to take seriously when it comes to talking to general people and convincing them and by the way gareth convinced them without saying anything to just see this film now and he brought in very large numbers now i would have thought that spider-man would have beaten godzilla in the box office but <laughs> no godzilla dominated spider-man and then x-men came in you know and, and, and they did come over godzilla but Godzilla still still did very well, and he went all over the world, and he made a whole bunch of money because he did a great job around the world. And you had your people that didn't care for the movie, but then you had the people that did like it, and then people that just thought it was all right. So when you're talking Gareth Edwards, he has a very creative mind because he took Godzilla and did a lot of justice to it. That's my opinion. I think he did a lot of justice to Godzilla. So, and I know you're probably going to hate me for this, but... I think if if Legendary did have Gabra, okay, let's just say they did, if Gareth sat down and he just looked at this turd, and, and, and Gareth probably doesn't like this monster either, but at least he would try, because a director at least tries, that they have to try, and Gareth probably would sit down and try to figure out, you know, I know this monster sucks, I really do hate him, but how can I do some justice to this guy who is hated so much and by, by, by very many fans? And that if a general person sees him first, they're going to make fun of him, and then they hate him, and then they don't even want to bother with him because of the aggravating roar. It, it's just how weird he looks, too. So I think Gareth Edwards would try to find a way if he had his hands on Gabra. Now, we also know that, you know, the same director doesn't direct um, the same series. Good example, the Alien movies. You had the first two movies that were directed by two different people. And then the third one and the fourth one as well. And you see a big difference between those movies. Now we know that the first one and the second one were the best movies. So I think with the Godzilla universe, you're going to have to stick with Gareth that we know so far. Um, I just don't see any director taking a kaiju movie unless if kaijus were really getting liked a lot and such, and then they would take the opportunity. But I think Gareth is the only one who's going to stick to this and the guy who's doing Pacific Rim. Um, and speaking, speaking of Pacific Rim, <laughs> oh God, I could not imagine seeing this guy in Pacific Rim. I, I really don't know what you could do with him still, but that's it. I mean... I just wanted to talk about, you know, like, yeah, if you choose a bad monster, that, that does suck, and there's a lot of low potential, and you have your low, really super low expectations because you think it's going to suck, but at least you know that the movie's in the hands of a director who did justice to a character that we all know and love, and that this director is going to try to do his best to take things very seriously and try to make it work and give justice, like I just said, um... But, no, the, this would just be ridiculous of Legendary anyway. I really, there, there's no way that they're going to choose him. So, don't don't worry about Gabber, guys. You know that, too. I bet I bet you know that. So, But I want to know what you guys think. I really want to see in the comments below. Please, 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 in the comments below, put your thoughts about this. Put what you think it would be like and how your reaction would be if you heard the news that Gabra was put in this universe. Please. And also, request for future kaijus for Godzilla monsters only. Um, no other Toho monsters except for Godzilla. Um, so yeah, 
Mike G off your screen. I'll see you guys soon in the next video. See you guys soon.